Of course. God damn it. Whoa, what happened? I fell. Well, I got some ammo back, which is nice. Okay, what was over here? Anything shooting at me here? She's mean. Huh. Oh, does this wrap back? It sure does. How convenient. Yes, yeah, that's like one of the things I really love about this game is that it doesn't hold your hand. Because if I wasn't paying attention to those audio logs where the person said um, in order to proceed further through pod 2 I had to I had to go to nacelle B to do something then I would have I would have been stuck or not stuck but it would have taken me a whole lot longer to figure out where to go Because I think if, if, if like this game was made now, it would definitely hold your hand with like, you know, having having you know, a more detailed uh, mini-map. Damn it. And like, um quest arrows and uh what is that oh it's a turret because i'm because i'm also playing uh bioshock also and that game definitely holds your hand i mean not only does it um shit it's close not only does it give you um, a quest arrow telling you what direction you should be going in it also makes the it, it, it like also highlights interactive objects on the map or not in the map but you know it's like in the world and that kind of redu like you know it just reduces the number of areas to click because like you walk into a room and if there's nothing yellow being highlighted, that means you don't have to really do anything. Whereas in here, this game, it doesn't, it doesn't visually show you what you can interact with until you actually go up to an object and hover over it. Like, you know, I can hover, like, you know, hover over a corpse and you can, it says search corpse. It's like, what is that? Because with the audio logs in Bioshock, it doesn't really give you any. It's not. You can basically go through the whole game without listening to a single audio log. Whereas in this game, I guess in this game, you, you can also go through. Now, could you? 
No, because cause in this game, you, you, you need to listen to certain audio logs to unlock doors and shit. And you have to remember the, the numbers it gives you, the passcodes. I am so lost. Oh no, I, I back to pod two. So I find myself paying a lot more attention in this game than in Bioshock. Because in Bioshock, all I'm really looking for is I'm looking at the quest arrow to see which way I should be going. And I'm also looking at looking for um, the yellow highlights. Which you don't really have to look for because it's so it's so, you know, huge. I think it, I think it glows yellow and also shimmers and shit. Did I go here? Yeah, I went there. So like when I play like Bioshock or even Bioshock Infinite, I'm like I'm like half like not paying attention because when I should be paying attention, the game will just let me know. Uh, it's been all since I've saved it. Okay, okay, this way. What was that noise? Is that another turret? Actually, the, the holding the hand is... It's just, uh... Fantastic. Oh, whoa. Okay. Uh, ow. Yeah, I thought that was a turret. That's why I... That's where I only popped up one shot and just stood there. Cause I was, I was like half expe I was expecting it to blow up. But it was a stupid droid. What was I saying before? Oh, yeah, it's like most but most all modern games now they hold your hand. They tell you everything. Oh. There's like not tell you, they tell you everything, but it's like they never put you in a situation where you where you can't get out. Like they never. Well, what blew up? Oh, it must have been that droid. It's like games nowadays don't. They never put you in the the point of no return situation. Damn, I want... I need ammo, that's what I need. What's up here? Peekaboo. Jesus Christ. Ow. That somebody? Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Only one egg remains. One egg Set. left. Are you always this slow? She's getting more and more aggressive. Was close. I hear you. Ow. 
Um, a button, a button, a button, and a button. Uh, before we start pushing buttons, let's see what the hell. Uh, oh, I think I know what the buttons do. Nope. I want to raise it one more. So I can jump on it. Oh, do I have to crouch maybe? Oh. oh I can't make that jump. Oh, what the hell? Missing something here. I'm not smart enough to figure this out. Oh, I think I get you. Um, there you go. Oh. The oh, the stupid thing where you fucking can't be touching the wall and jump because it won't register. I was there. You go, fucking Christ. Uh, um, there's nothing up here. Oh, that's why I raised the wrong one. Derp. Go oh, here we go again. There you go. And then you raise that. Okay. <laughs> Ow. Now you can raise that again. Mm -hmm. Can you fucking climb up this stupid thing already? This is me, transmitting cybernetic modules. 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 <laughs> Ow. He sure is dumb. Who's shooting at me? Oh, there it is. Whoa. How many things are up there? <laughs> Figures. Well, the good thing about have that Rocketeer is that it's very slow to turn. Whoa, I fell. What the hell was that? I don't need maintenance tools, I need ammo. 